Hey guys, Andrew here with MNPC Tech. I'm back with another case review for you today. Uh, we've toned it down a little from the $300 Lian Lee and moved to something that's much more reasonable. This is the Enermax Ostrug Mid Tower case. It comes in at $44.99 and we're going to take a look at it today because it's a great value in the Mid Tower market. Starting off with the aesthetics of the front panel here, you can see it's, it's completely flat. Um, we've got this red perforated grill around the entire edge, which allows for airflow. And when this case is released, that's going to come in uh, blue, black, white, and red as well. Um, so in addition to that for airflow in the front, they also have this slot in the bottom that helps out. Uh, you, there's room for a 120 millimeter fan up front behind this panel. It's not included, however, so that's something to consider. Also, you've got plenty of five and a quarter inch drive bays up here. I think it's a little excessive, um, but it's nonetheless, you know, a nice feature to have if you have a lot of five and a quarter uh, devices to use up front. All right, so moving up to the top of our case here, you can see Enermax did a nice uh, top IO panel here. And this does have internal headers, so you don't have to worry about cabling all this. Um, we've got USB 3, which they've labeled super speed up on the top here as well as three uh, USB 2.0 ports, microphone, headphone, uh, reset button, and power button. And these buttons actually feel pretty good for a, a $44 case, so I have to give it to them there. I'm not a big fan of brand names labeled all over, so I, I kind of don't like this Enermax uh, logo up at the top, but um, take it as you will. This is a, a nice functional top panel for this case. We've got perforation up on the top here for either two 120 millimeter fans or two 140 millimeter fans. Unfortunately, it's not spaced 15 millimeters apart for radiators, but we do have um, a Corsair H100 that we're gonna take a look at later because with just slight modifications, you can get a, a radiator in this case as well. So moving to the bottom of the case here, you can see that Enermax did something nice with the power supply here. We've got a, uh, a fan filter that's easily removable so that you can clean that. It's a nice feature. As well as small plastic case feet with um, small rubber pads. Those are nice for just getting the case off the ground, which is always good to see. And we've got space for a 120 millimeter fan in the bottom of the case as well. That fan isn't included, uh, unfortunately, but it does give you uh, more more options for cooling this case. So moving on to the back side here We've got a 120 millimeter fan uh, which was included with the case as well as um, We've got uh, three quarters inch um, water cooling ports up at the top and it's important to note with these uh, PCI slots these are uh, disposable as we would say um, in that you're not going to be able to reuse these once you pop them out so um, that's kind of a negative of this case, but it is, you know, at, at this price range, that's sort of expected. Um, as well as uh, for the PSU, there isn't a uh, removable uh, power supply mounting plate, but again, you know, those are nitpicky uh, features, and from the back, you can access the, uh, the power supply filter easily as well. Um, one thing I'll, I'll note is I really like the thumb screws on this case, they're easy to access. Um, they they don't really stand out more than they need to and they're and they're pretty great so that's a plus as well and um, moving on for the side panel removal actually they added a hinge on the back here which is kind of a cool idea um, I wish they could have made this into the latching system um, but if you remove the thumb screws on the side panel then you can just grab this hinge and pull and the side panel comes off really easily so taking a closer look at the, the window panel here, um, you'll see that there's space for two 120 millimeter fans on the side here. I'm really confused as to why one of these is, is perforated with holes and one is slotted. Um, would prefer just to see the slots all the way across because it allows for um, better equal or better airflow as well as a little bit better on the sound from the, from the fans. Um, you can also add an 80 millimeter fan to this spot as well, which I'm not entirely sure why you would do that. And, and one other thing to note is just that these are here and some people don't like that. Um, a lot of people like just solid flat windows. This is the way it is, so you, you kind of have to deal with it and it looks a little goofy in my opinion. Um, as well as these chrome screw caps 
uh, not really a big fan because they, they kind of stick out like a sore thumb on the on the side panel and so I don't really like that those could have been black as well and looking at the other side uh, you'll see the screws that hold those in place so that is something to consider that this the window is removable um, but you kind of have to deal with it the way it is I do like that the side panel feels really rigid um, it's good build build quality for a $44 case no complaints there I do like how this is built so taking a look at the inside of this case, there's a lot of things uh, built into this that we would expect from a lot more expensive cases. Uh, the inside finish is something that you would notice uh, first off that I think is really, really nice. They did a great job powder coating this um, and it, it feels durable, it looks great. So that's a big plus, not something you see in a lot of cheap cases. Um, starting with the bottom of the case, we've got space for a 120 millimeter fan anti-vibration dampening pads for the power supply which is a nice touch as well as that uh, that filter underneath there um, we've got all of our USB 3 internal headers going on here um, one of the negatives about this case um, is the small uh, slots for cable management which could potentially be a big problem in this case um, they're they aren't grommeted they're very small kind of the one of the main gripes about the inside of this uh, case but if you'll notice the the, uh, the motherboard standoffs come pre-installed which is something you don't see very often and kind of kind of cool um, this case will fit uh, pretty much everything a standard mid tower case will fit for motherboards ATX micro ATX ITX uh, the like um, here you can see we've got all of our five and a quarter inch bays and these uh, just turn and pop off like so um, and these do feel pretty durable um, as Bill was pointing out they you know they aren't as cheap feeling as as some of them come so that's nice as well um, and then we've got um, several other hard drive bays here this one that's turned um, is actually removable so you can take that out um, a benefit of that is you can fit larger uh, graphics cards in the system if you need this case really isn't built for uh, systems with a lot of graphics cards, SLI or anything like that, um, but you can take this out to um, support longer graphics cards. And this is not um, turnable, so you're kind of stuck with using it, uh, the orientation that it's in, if you're gonna use it at all. Um, and then you also have space for more hard drives down in the bottom of the case as well, and they all have the same uh, mounting system on those. So to take off the front panel, you just grab underneath and pull. It's really simple. And so here you can see the space for the single 120 millimeter fan up front, which is not included uh, with the case, but that does have space for it. It, it looks kind of funky up here. Um, but as mentioned before, you do have perforation on the front grill for airflow as well as that bottom slot as well. So you can fit a uh, single 120 up front for cooling purposes. All right, so taking a look at the back of the motherboard tray here, you'll see that we've got uh, factory uh, stamped cable tie bases here for cable management, um, which is a nice touch. However, one gripe about the back of this case is you've got less than half of an inch of space to work with. So I can see this as being a, a big issue for cable management. I don't even know if you could fit a sleeved 24 pin uh, power connector behind this, but um, it is what it is. Uh, granted, this, this case is pretty narrow overall, which is you know a, a nice small footprint, but it does create issues with running cable management around the back. Um, and as you can see, they've uh, ca cable tied the, the headers on the back as well. Another thing to note is that we've got toolless uh, latches for the drives on both sides of the case, which is kind of a hassle because they easily could have just uh, used this system on one side, in which case you wouldn't have to open up both sides of the case to move or remove any of your drives. So it's just a minor uh, hassle with this that they could revise in the future. So a lot of you are gonna ask, can I fit an H100 into the Ostrug? And things get a little complicated because as you can see, when we drop this into our case here, we've got a motherboard installed as well. The radiator and fans 
will hit most DDR slots on a motherboard. And if you have DDR with bigger heat spreaders, it's not gonna work at all. So that leaves you with a few options. You can either uh, really ghetto rig this system and put the fans on the top of the case, in which, in which uh, case you don't have to do a whole lot of modifications, but it does look a little silly. Your other option on the inside here is to actually offset this radiator, so we'll, we'll bring it all the way to the edge here, and that leaves enough space for your RAM slot releases right here. Um, now that is also a little complicated because as you can see, um, about a quarter of the radiator is covered up then. So you're gonna have to deal with reduced airflow as well as you're gonna have to drill uh, new holes in this perforation to actually get the, the radiator to fit. So it is possible um, but it, there are some complications with it. So don't buy the Ostrug expecting to perfectly fit an H100 in your system. If you're okay with doing a little modding, using some power tools, you can make it work. It's just not the easiest thing in the world. So in the accessory box, we've got um, clear cable ties, um, these nice Velcro cable managing ties as well, which are kind of a cool Thing that they included. Um, these are for the three and a half inch uh, drives if you choose to use that removable cage. We've got one uh, PCI slot cover. I really don't know why or anything, but it's just what we've got, I guess. Um, and then as well, we also have uh, mounting, these long screws are for mounting the 120 millimeter fan in the front of the case. Um, we've also got motherboard speaker uh, and uh, mounting screws, uh, hard drive screws and motherboard mounting screws as well. And literature, of course. All right guys, so to close it off here with our Intermax Ostrog case, I really think this case brings a lot of really good value uh, to the market of lower price range cases, $44.99. Uh, is the price point of this, and I really think you get a lot for your money, which is something that's sometimes hard to say about uh, cases in any price range. The case is really well built. It looks like it's more expensive than it actually is, which is kind of cool. Um, factory installed window, which is a nice touch. A lot of other features, a lot of airflow, um, plenty of space for hard drives and optical drives and the like. Um, so I definitely recommend this. Um, it's definitely not for high-end gaming PC builds, as you will have some troubles with, uh, you know, a lot of graphics cards in the system or cable management, that sort of thing. But I definitely could see it as a great option for either a, a budget gaming PC, home PC, office PC, anything like that. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, check back; we'll be doing a lot more reviews of, of more midstream uh, cases. So uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.